it's a marvelous day the camber in the building the 29 year old zimbabwe defensive midfielder was absolutely incredible for luton last year and we're going to touch base exactly what he did but let's get on to the early days and all about the camber before we start to picture exactly where he's going to be in the side so the camber started his career at his local side bantu rovers in 2010 age 16. he left the country and moved in 2012 to French side Nancy where he had trials. He officially joined them in 2012, age 18. He passed the trials and began playing for their second team in the reserves. Nakamba then finally made his professional debut in a 3-1 victory at home. In 2014, he then went on trial to Dutch side Vitiz. He signed a four-year deal with them aged 20 and made his debut in September. He was vital for the club and then appeared 69 times for them scoring twice and helping them to a title for their first time in 125 years. He then joined Club Bruges in 2017 on a four-year deal for around £4 million, aged 23. He made his debut in a 4-0 victory and went on to play 53 times for the club. He then signed for Aston Villa in 2019 for a fee around €12 million, Euros, £10 million. He made his debut in an impressive 6-1 victory over Crew Alexander in a League Cup. He then made his Premier League debut in September 2019. The Camber went on to play 58 times for Aston Villa, even picking up Player of the Month during the era of Steven Gerrard as the manager. He then picked up a serious injury, ruling himself out for about three or four months, which unfortunately stopped him going to the Africa Cup of Nations in 2021. Then in January this year, the Camber joined best club in the world, Luton Town, on loan, having not played at all for Aston Villa that season. Become well established very quickly for Luton. He started and made his uh, debut in February for a 1-0 victory over Stoke. He then went on to play 17 times and was very crucial for Luton and in uh, their promotion victory season. He gave Luton so much confidence in the middle, sort of as his defensive role, he almost that sometimes you felt we had more midfield on the pitch than the opposition. It was very calm, composure, um, and he was able to see the ball even when he sort of players were coming in and surrounding him he, had, he was able to like calmly pass the ball off look up and I think he just gave the whole team that little bit more confidence and you know assertive in the middle that we've got someone that actually knows what they're doing and passing the ball around and he was a true real figurehead and it was great to see he certainly gave Clark and Pelly that ability in the middle to sort of free roam around get the ball and his work rate off the ball was fantastic as well getting back just want to touch base on his personal life and what a fantastic human being he is he set up the the Kamba foundation which is uh, all about supporting young people in zimbabwe in 2020 in march he paid tuition fees and also examination fees for around a thousand pupils from underprivileged backgrounds. His goal was to reach 100,000 pupils in December 2021 and then a million pupils in 2024. His foundation was also involved in many projects such as hospital renovations, PPE for schools, working with UNICEF to help protect them from uh, underage marriage and stuff like that. It just shows the type of character he is. I know he got back to, from pre-season quite late because he did spend a lot of time in Zimbabwe setting all these things up and he's a true legend in Zimbabwe and you can really see that from the Twitter and stuff like that. I know there was a little leak the other day of Nakamba. Um, I think his foundation actually tweeted that the journey continues and it tagged all the Luton guys and stuff like that. Not sure whether the club would have been too happy that they announced it before the club, stuff like that. But I'm sure you can agree what an absolute gentleman he is and a heart of gold especially for back home moving into the squad now now he's finally here i think we can start to shape the midfield and see it a little bit better the camber will obviously sit in his preferred role in the defensive midfield we then have chong and personally i think clark in um that forward position in front of him and they have the free roaming as i've spoken about in many other videos we've then got the backup of pelly the interesting one we haven't seen is obviously Freeman. Freeman didn't feature in the squad that went away to Slovenia. So it'd be interesting to see whether he is still nursing an injury or he has got plans to move on elsewhere. Um, so we've not really heard much about him. Another one that hasn't featured is Fred. Fred hasn't been in the squad either 
um, over in Slovenia. So it'll be interested to see him because I always thought he would be the backup for Dowerty and for the potential right wing back position, which is hopefully we're going to get another new person as we've already been uh, linked with Kabor and stuff like that. So interested to see why Fred wasn't out there. Obviously, Osho isn't out there as well. Osho, again, feature for midfield, but whether he's still nursing the injury from the final is interesting to know, but he didn't feature. We obviously know Ray didn't feature. Musque hasn't featured over there. Mendez Gomez. Them type of people I obviously already said potentially will be moving away from my rumours video earlier on in the month. Now we've got Nakamba. We potentially look for one more midfield if Freeman is moving on. We would need right wing back. Maybe another striker? Certainly I think we need another defender as well. Um, and of course the goalkeeper route. Tom Heaton we were linked with at one stage. Be interested to see from that. But yeah, let me know in the comments exactly what your thoughts are on the fabulous, marvellous signing of Nakamba. If you did like today's video, please do drop us a like and a sub and let us know in the comments your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video.